Hi folks, just a little short video. Um, I've got something on my mind. I, I like to keep my videos in my activity repository about what you can do with amateur radio in and, and all conditions and all bands. And I was reading a lot of stuff on social media just now saying, oh, the bands are dead, solar flares are killing it. I mean, it's such an exciting time because the sun is going absolutely mental. Isn't it fantastic to see these aurora borealis like halfway around the planet top and bottom i think it's absolutely fascinating i'm going to do a video in a little while about how you can actually non-scientifically kind of read into this, what the sun's doing using you know dead simple computer um and a, and, and a screen and the, the ham clock app because i think it's absolutely superb and beginners can use it as well but in the meantime the bands aren't dead there's loads of stuff you could do I mean, the first thing is, after this solar activity, normally the higher bands recover first, so why not knock something up quickly for 10 metres? A 10 metre half-wave dipole that you can orientate vertically or horizontally. If you're doing it vertically, maybe just try and run the feeder out horizontally, tie it onto a fence or a shed or something like that. It's not actually a long antenna. Um, anybody can do that. Portable set up in your garden using a, a telescopic pole. And then 6 metres... FT8, yeah, everybody knocks date the bands, but FT8 was designed for six metres, or so I was told anyway. So why not actually just knock something up for six metres? Again, a halfway dive pole, when, when six metres is um, sporadic ease in the summer and with all the solar activity, it's working really well just now. A simple uh, piece of wire will get you on the air and get you European contacts on six metres. And then I keep hearing two metres is dead. No one's on two metres or even 70 sims. Well, you know what, there was a, an English SOTA operator up here last week, Vicky MM6BWA, and she only uses 2 metres and 70 sims. And thanks to email and local chat groups, Twitter, Facebook posts, there was loads of people got out there and listened to her. People even drive out in their cars to a mobile, you know, a good mobile high spot and actually listen to see if they can make a contact with her on, on 2 metres and 70 sims. And she qualified lots of SOTA summits that probably never been done on 2 metres before. Okay, if you sit and turn your two metre radio on, yeah, the band's dead, you don't hear anything. You don't hear anything on the local repeater. You're not gonna, if you don't call. Every day I drive home from work, I've got the uh, local repeater on in the Land Rover, I put one call out, and then 20 minutes later I put another call out. Sometimes somebody comes back to me. Sometimes somebody comes back to me on Simplex. Sometimes it's somebody I don't know. Um, the last time on the repeater, it was um, a, an English holiday maker that was up in the area that had his handheld tuned to the repeater and wondered why no one was using it. Today, I've got friends on Soda Summits in the Aberdeenshire area. Um, Mo and I are heading down for a family weekend somewhere else, but we happen to be driving over the Cairn Amount, so I'm taking my handheld with me. I've alerted the local groups. We're going to see if I can make any contacts from the top of Cairn Amount, just in a 15 minute slot, we're going to stop for a cup of tea at the top, en route. What's the worst that can happen? Right, you want to see what happens? Watch on. Let's go, Mo. Let's go, Mo. A 20 meter walk to the top. Okay, I'm here. I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. Well, I'll make a contact on two meters after all my posturing about get on the bands and put a call out. This isn't any kind of official summit, it is though one of Scotland's most uh, tricky roads, and it's normally the first one in winter to close due to snow. Oh, something else you could do with uh, two meters. Get an APRS radio. Wait for the satellites to lock on, if they're still working. And um, stick a couple of pigs out and see where they get picked up. Send a friend a message. I'm going to send a friend a message to say I'm here. Opening the squelch up for maximum effect. CQ, 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 two meters, CQ, two meters. This is Mike, Mike, zero, Echo, Foxtrot, India. 
portable. I'm on top of Cairn Mount with a handheld and a whip. This is Mike Mike Zero Echo Foxtrot India Portable QRZ. Two Mike Zero Whiskey November Alpha. Two Mike Zero Whiskey November Alpha. Mike Mike Zero Echo Foxtrot India Portable. Good morning from Cairn Mount. Uh, shall we QSY 550? 550 QSY now. MM0 EFI Portable, any calls on 550? Golf Mike 0, November, Radio Tango. Oh, sorry, I accidentally changed frequency when you were midway through your uh, your spiel there. Radio November Tango. Go again. Uh, Golf Mike 0, November, Radio Tango. Uh, Bill, Bill, it's Bill here, Fraser. How you doing? Uh, it's uh, still a bit cloudy here, or, or hardy here in Aberdeen. But here in the nice and strong here in the town, uh, about a five and seven at the moment. MM0 EFI portable GM0 NRT. G GM0 NRT, MM0 EFI portable. Good morning, Bill. Great to work you again. Yeah, sorry, I, I accidentally twisted the dial when you were talking there and it, it went up five kilohertz, so I lost half of your signal. But uh, yeah, it's clear on the cairn and it, um, it was clear driving down D side this morning. And as I was saying to Mike, I, I can see the cloud over there, but it, it's so hot, you'd like to think it would uh, lift fairly soon for you. But you're a, you're a solid five and nine up here. I'm just using the handheld and the uh, telescopic, telescopic quip. Over. Mike, five, Alpha Lima X-ray. Good morning, Alex. Uh, how are you? You're five and nine up onto the cairn. Over, over. Lots of that, Fraser. Yeah, you're five and nine here with me in the, in the field side. Just, uh up onto the roof to hook up the white stick so I can connect it to a handheld to try and get a bit of chance to speak to everybody this morning so managed that just in time. Number four. Mike 7, Romeo Victor Charlie Portable on uh, Golf Mike Sierra 065. Mike, Mike 7, Romeo Victor Charlie Portable on uh, GMES 065 which is Ben Aquali or however you pronounce it, Mike will probably correct that. Uh, you're five and five to me, and uh, I hope you've got some clear weather over there. I can't really see Benaquali from here; it's too much in the way. But uh, still, a great signal over to the Cairn Mount, Chris. Over. Yeah, it's a beautiful morning here. Just a trace of wind, uh, and the clouds is clear. It's clearing as I came up. Uh, it is very warm. Uh, slightly, uh, slightly uh, moist now <laughs> at the top here, but I'll soon dry off. Probably set up over at the Cairn, I think. Just in case anyone else walks past the trig. I don't know. Mike, Mike Zero, Echo Fox for India. This is Golf Mike Five, Alpha India Bravo, Portable. GM5 AIB MM0 EFI Portable. Good morning, uh, Peter. Great to hear you from the top of Morven this morning. I'm on the top of the Cairn Mount Road, which I'm sure you're probably familiar with. I'm not sure if we're line of sight. I can see some lumps in the distance, possibly. But uh, yeah, good five and nine, over. Mike Mike Zero, Echo Fox, Scott India. I think it was Flash Portable. Uh, this is called Mike Five, Alpha India Bravo Portable. Uh, many thanks, uh, Fraser. I think that was five and nine. And your five and nine, yeah, strong signal. Um, is that by the uh, Glen Ski area? Is, is that the area? Um, but uh, yeah, great to get you in the lab, Fraser. Thanks for uh, the effort this morning in uh, coordinating people, sending emails. Uh, really appreciate that. And uh, and arranging your drive so that you could be on a high point. Uh, many thanks indeed. No problem at all. It's great to work you two summit to summit. And I've also heard Mike um, and Alex from their homes as well. So uh, delighted to get a bit of two meter activity when people were saying the bands are dead. There we go. Half a dozen contacts in about 10 minutes. The bands aren't dead. The radio is there, you just need to pick your frequency, pick your moment, get some friends out and go and have some fun. That's what it's all about. Fun. F-U-N. Go and find something to do with your radio. 73.